Today we're going to be talking about how to find the unit tangent vector at the given value of the parameter. And in this particular problem, we've been given the vector equation r of t, where the vector is r, and r is given to us in terms of the parameter t, which is equal to cosine of t times i plus 3t times j plus 2 times sine of 2t times k. And again, we've been asked to find the unit tangent vector of this vector equation at the point that has the given value of the parameter. So at the point where the value of the parameter is equal to zero. Now, as a reminder, I've written the formula that we're gonna use for the unit tangent vector. Remember that the unit tangent vector for now, we'll just say it's a vector that's gonna be tangent to our curve in space. And it's called the unit tangent vector because it's only one unit long, just like a unit vector. We're gonna be using this unit tangent vector a lot later when it comes to finding things like curvature and some other values in vector calculus. So it's important that we know how to calculate a unit tangent vector. Notice that our formula gives us capital T of T. So capital T is going to be the unit tangent vector at this parameter value. So the value we're going to end up calculating is capital T of zero, which means the unit tangent vector to this curve at the parameter value T equals zero. If we take a look at the right hand side of our formula, what we see is r prime of t, meaning the derivative of our vector equation r of t. So we're going to need to take the derivative and then we're going to need to evaluate the derivative at the parameter value t equals zero so that we can get r prime of zero. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll get r prime of t and we're gonna be taking the derivative of our vector equation. Remember that when we do that, we're really only interested in the derivative with respect to t, so that we're taking the derivative of the coefficients on our i, j, and k values. So in other words here, the coefficient on our i value is cosine of t, the derivative of cosine of t is negative sine of t, so we do negative sine of t, and we multiply that by i. i is just going to stay right where it is. We only need to take the derivative of this cosine of t value. The coefficient on our j value is 3t. The derivative of 3t with respect to t is just 3, so we're going to end up with plus 3j. The j just stays right where it is. The derivative of 3t is 3, so we get 3j. And then here for 2 sine of 2t, taking the derivative of that with respect to t, the derivative of sine is cosine, so we're going to end up here with 2 cosine of 2t. But then remember that according to chain rule, we need to multiply our result here by the derivative of our inside function. The derivative of 2t right here is 2, so we need to multiply by 2, and our k is going to stay right where it is. So if we simplify this, we'll just get negative sine of t times i plus 3 times j plus we move this 2 to the front here and we get 4 cosine of 2t times k. Now this is our derivative function r prime of t, but we want r prime of 0, which is the derivative function evaluated at the parameter value t equals 0. So r prime of 0 means we're plugging 0 in for t sine of zero is just zero, so we get zero i, that whole term is gonna drop away. Three j, there's no t value to plug in for right there, so we're just gonna be left with three j. Here at four cosine of two t, when I multiply zero by two, I get zero. Cosine of zero is one. One times four is just four, so I'm left with plus four k. So this is three j plus four k is my derivative equation evaluated at the parameter value t equals zero. And this is what I'm going to be plugging in for r prime of t into my numerator here. So let's go ahead and start writing out the equation of our unit tangent vector. We're going to say capital T of the parameter value zero is equal to, I'm going to plug three j plus four k right there into my numerator. And then in my denominator, I have the same thing except that I need to take the magnitude of r prime of t or r prime of zero. Remember that magnitude is basically just saying we're taking the length of this vector here, 3j plus 4k. The way that we do that is with the distance formula, but really all that distance formula boils down to is just squaring each of the coefficients on our components. So squaring here 3 and 4 adding the squares together, and then taking the square root of the sum. So here's what that looks like. We'll say the magnitude of r prime of 0 is going to be equal to, I want the square root of the sum of the squares of my coefficient. So I'm going to take 3 squared 
3 squared, and I'm going to add to that 4 squared here. And that's all I want to do. If I had an i component here, for example, if I had 2i plus 3j plus 4k, then inside of my square root sign here, I'd have 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared. So now when I simplify this, I get the square root of 9 plus 16, which is the same thing as the square root of 25. I know that the square root of 25 is positive or negative 5, but because we're dealing with real distances here, I want to take the positive value of that, and so I'm going to say that this is going to be equal to positive 5. So I'm going to plug positive 5 into my denominator here for my unit tangent vector equation. Now all I need to do is just distribute this 5 across these components. I don't want to leave it in this form because this isn't the best form for my final answer. My final answer for the unit tangent vector will be capital T of 0 is equal to, now distributing the 1 fifth here, 3 fifths times j plus 4 fifths times k. So we just want to distribute that and have a clean coefficient on both of our j and k components here. That's the best form for our final answer, and that's how you find the unit tangent vector of a vector function at the given value of the parameter.